Stepping does as a general rule is it collapses your hips, and so it feels it feels like the right thing to do, but you're ended up like you've just been splattered. It's like a fish out of water because what happens is you get to this position, and then you do this. It's it's all right, but you've collapsed. Your hips are collapsed, and so you have no real space to work underneath. That's the challenge with it. And it all becomes about guard retention. Again, you, you know, it becomes very predictable. He's just going to try and bring that bottom knee because there's nothing else happening. So what you've really got to get used to the idea of doing is as he's transferring that weight, the pelvic tilt, all of this cannot be hurried. You can't just like bridge up and then get it with loads of space under here. And you've got a pelvic tilt to get rid of that. And now we're going to hip extend. And now I've got weight properly, I've got a proper platform here on my neck, because this is going to have to support me, the shoulders and neck, I'm forming this, this kind of T shape. That's my platform. That's my platform. And so now this is going up as well to try and help me, and this is threading all the way through. That's what I've got to do. And so each bit of it has got to be Perfect, it can't be hurried. So if you're finding your body, oh, I, I need to do this faster, whatever, no. Uh, I know people have these little arguments in their head, I'm just gonna throw my hips up, that'll, that'll do. It, it won't, it'll collapse. It'll collapse under pressure. Yeah, so you've gotta get this whole thing. So if I get rid of that space, so it's still in my pelvis. And then I hip extend into the pelvic tilt. Now I'm, now I'm in a pretty good position. And now so, so I'm here, and I'm going to take this. He's gone chest to chest on me. So now I'm going to take this in that. This hand's going to go in that direction, behind his knee. And it's going to almost be like this. That's what you want. wanting. And now I'm in position to drive. Get up. And drive. Yeah. Is, is that the next? That's the next step. From what once you've got to the to the leg, you're looking to stand and lift the leg and all that sort of stuff. Well, I can stand because there's nobody on me. Yeah. But the point is, my body's in a position to stand. Right. And he's putting my weight. He's putting his weight on me. It can bear quite a lot of weight because I can stand. I'm supporting my own body structure. But if you're not supporting your own body structure because you're collapsing, your hips are dropping. You can't get up anyway. Yeah. If you can't get up, you can't exert force on somebody else because you can't even. Get yourself off the mat. Right. You're not going to be fighting them when your hips are on the mat because your your body's defeated you. Yeah, so it's, it's super important we get that movement. Let's switch it up and get a new body. I'm not going to go to isolation yet because I just think this ends up getting hurried and people start getting competitive and then they're like, well, fuck it. If I got out and did well, and it's like you might just be being stronger, and heavier, and they're not giving you the right weight but, and any of those factors in it. Uh, and what I really want is that pelvic tilt. Bridge. Like I can feel that from the bottom when somebody does it because it elevates me so much more than if they just throw their hips up, do some spazzy sit out, and then their hips collapse, and then it's like I'm just dealing with a wet fish here, you know, flopping around the floor. Um, whereas when you feel somebody do that, go through the gears, get you elevated, it's a different, you're fighting a different animal. You really, you really are. So let's get a new, new partner. Um, let's make sure there's not a miss, big mismatch in size between the heaviest and the lightest. Um, let's go in the car. 